Right, this is another Mandela effect concerning uh, the King James Bible. That is usually the Oxford version that we get in a lot of these um, online sites, but it could either be the Oxford or the Cambridge version, both um, almost the same. So we read through about the basket of figs, and uh, this represents the Jewish people, okay? Judah. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe, okay? Even like the figs which are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. <laughs> very naughty figs. <laughs> This, is, this was not in the original King James Bible. This is an easy read, King James Bible. Um, also, it's the same in my version that, that, that I have, which is the uh, literal version. This is the easy read. Um, it does say, um, one basket, very good figs in it. The kind that ripe in early in season, but the other basket had rotten figs. They were too rotten to eat. Now that's what it used to say in the King James Bible. The ESV is meant to be a word for word King James Bible. And uh, the only things that have changed in the easy read is the these and those. And uh, just bringing it into modern English. But there's nothing there's nothing ancient about very naughty figs is there that's that's not a term which goes back hundreds of years and it doesn't make sense within the context you know the, the parables again you know the wineskins they're meant to be stories which you can relate to which have a spiritual meaning involved parables don't directly um, tell you you know the actual meaning in the actual stanza of the, of the parable, but that's that's what uh, the King James Bible is now doing, and I know Meeks and a few others is uh, is one of those who highlight the terrible now grammatical errors and strange words that are used. Um, they're not archaic words. Naughty is not an archaic word, so you'd think, well, you know, you should keep that, but this is not. From the, the original Hebrew is simply stating a rotten or bad fig, not a naughty fig. It's a rotten or bad fruit. That's what the translation of the word is. And so, those of you who remember either rotten or bad figs can thumbs this video up. Those of you who remember sitting reading your 1611 or whatever 17th century King James Bible. And it's saying, talking about naughty figs, <laughs> naughty, fi very naughty figs, not just naughty figs, very naughty figs. If you can remember it saying that, then you can thumbs down the video. Thanks for watching.